on a cloud and fell her eight miles high. I tore my mind on a jagged sky. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, what condition my condition was in. Hey, this is Jeff from Hagen's Alley. Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is the 100 greatest console video games. Um, now, keep in mind that this book here by Brett Wise, uh, it only covers 1977 to 1987. So you're talking about your Silver Age games. Um, so basically, you're not going to be covering anything that was released after 87. Uh, so when you're reading this book, um, you're going to see a lot of old school classics, a lot of arcade ports to consoles, um, really great um, game selection for the obscure too because a lot of these games didn't continue on past 1987. Um, of course you have the classics, uh, Donkey Kong. Um, and you have stuff like Gradius in here, and you know your your Zelda and Super Mario because they were released before '87. Um, all of these articles are put together pretty masterfully. Um, you have you know your different consoles that it came out, or the ones that he liked the most. So like for Donkey Kong, you have the ColecoVision and the NES. Um, you have some pictures, typically of the release. Sometimes you get a screenshot, sometimes you don't. It depends on what high quality screenshots he could find. Um, he does put in there uh, how much they go for, for price-wise at the time of this publishing. Um, that could date the book a little. However, um, it's good to have a little quick reference, um, so that way you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, also, though, there's a lot of text in here, um, so he goes into depth on, you know, what he covers, which is great. Um, he also takes things from other people within the gaming community, other different types of quotes and stories. Um, and my favorite part of this is the fun facts and why it made the list. It gives each game a quick synopsis of why he included in the book. Um, overall, this book is super big, it's huge, the pages are thick, it's cardstock, um, about 250 pages in it, um, and also you got, got to keep in mind that in the back of the appendix, he has the next 100. So he writes a little bit, a little paragraph on each game and his next 100 that would make the list. Um, he says in the beginning it was pretty tough doing cuts and I've done lists as well and it is definitely hard to make cuts and do a finite amount of reviews. Um, overall super impressive book. I highly recommend um, going and checking this one out by Schiffer Publishing. Um, you should see it in Barnes & Noble other bookstores as well as online which we will have a link below. Ch check it out and take it easy.